Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a masculine birthday card, perfect for a winter birthday. Hope you enjoy. So I started this card by putting the hill mask onto my background and then using some warm breeze to create some snowy hills. And the trick to using a stencil like this is to put the ink on the stencil and then slowly pull the ink upwards. So I repeated this a few times, just adjusting my stencil so that the hills were kind of going behind each other and the background was quite interesting. And I know as card makers, we tend to work in groups of three. So I added three sets of hills all together. And then I used the smallest of the circle masks and put this on the right hand side of the sky and then added some warm breeze around it. I will add some more color on the sky later on, but this is how I started my background. So then I came in with some paradise ink and I used another one of the hill masks to create a, a lake at the bottom of the card. And I wanted this lake to look like it was a frozen lake so after adding the ink, I added some silver paint on top. And I just love the effect of this silver paint with the ink peeking through. You'll see when it dries, it looks gorgeous. This silver paint is perfect for adding a little bit of sparkle and creating snow effects, as you'll see later on. So once that ice on the bottom of the card is dry, I stamped the fir tree stamp with the warm breeze ink several times around the card. And I know that fir trees are not blue or this turquoisey blue in real life, but I love the effect that it creates on this card using these blues just to give this card a wintry feel. So to help create a bit of dimension on the card, I made sure to stamp the fir trees on the different hills that I created earlier. So some of them are far away and some of them are closer to the ice at the bottom of the card. So in total, I ended up stamping five fir trees with the warm breeze ink. And it doesn't matter if you overlap the fir trees like I am doing here they still look great. And then I'm going to stamp a few with the Paradise ink, and you'll see how great it looks combining the Paradise and the Warm Breeze inks. And I'm going to stamp three of these Paradise trees all together. So I was trying to make a bit of a clearing at the bottom left of the card because I knew I was going to stamp one of the images there, the focal point. So the trees are mostly around the outside of the card. Now my main image is the large reindeer stamp from Lavinia and I'm going to stamp him in that clearing and I'm going to put his feet right over that icy bit at the bottom and using this ink is okay because it stamps right on top of that watercolor paint. Now once I've finished stamping the reindeer, I'm going to stamp them again on a piece of post-it note paper. And this is the full stick post-it note paper, which is great for creating a mask for your image. So after I stamp him out, I'm going to trim the mask. And I'm not worried about all the little hairs on the side of the reindeer or the antlers. So I'm just cutting his body out. And I'm not even going to bother cutting in between the legs. That's too tedious. So I'll leave that on. So I'm going to put this mask on top of the reindeer. And then when I apply my snowflakes, he won't be covered. So for my snowflakes, I'm going to use some distress paint. This is the Picket Fence Distress Paint. And I'm also going to use that same silver watercolor paint. Now, when you mix the Distress Paint with water, 
you can create really tiny speckles. So I did that first, and then I added some pure distress paint for some bigger, bigger speckles of snow. And don't forget to add your mask onto your moon before doing this. Now, once I was happy with the white snowflakes, I just used a bit of that distress paint to paint along the edge of the ice at the bottom of the card. And that just adds a bit of texture and interest at the bottom here. And I'll do the same underneath the trees, just where I can see the bottom of the fir trees, just adding a little bit of snow at the bottom. And then I'll add some silver snowflakes as well. And I'll set this aside until it's completely dry. Now, once it's dry and I remove the mask, you can see those gorgeous snowflakes. So just to help them stand out a bit more, I'm going to use some of that warm breeze and put it around the outside of the card. And then I'm going to add a bit more color to the top, just so that there is a distinct skyline at the top of the card. So make sure you put your mask back on so that the moon stays white. And I'm blending over those silver snowflakes, which you can see peeking through. And then I'm going to add some paradise ink on top of that as well. And I just love how the sky looks once I've finished blending both these colors in. And I'll hold it up so that you can see all those silver snowflakes just peeking through on this gorgeous background. Now I'm just going to add some finishing touches to the large reindeer. So I'm going to use a sparkle pen just to outline his body and then I'll also outline his antlers. Now, if you prefer, you can use a black gel pen just to go over his antlers to make sure they're dark. But I like the effect that the snowflakes falling on his antlers have made. And I really like how I've got one of the snowflakes, which is kind of balancing on his nose. I didn't really plan that, but I think it looks great. So you can see the finished reindeer with the sparkle pen around the outside. Now to create a sentiment for this card, I'm going to stamp the birthday wishes stamp. This is from the Heartfelt Verses stamp set. And I stamped it with black ink and then cut out the paper and put a black border around the outside. And this will help it stand out on that blue background as well. And I'll just glue this into place on the front of the card, just underneath that moon. And then I will set this aside to dry completely and work on the inside of the card. So I used a five by seven inch card base and I used a birthday message. This is from the Hero Arts set. It's called Birthday Messages. And I love this for adding a little extra to the inside of my birthday cards. So I'm using the sentiment that says make a wish as well as the one that says enjoy your day. And I stamped that with the paradise ink. And then with the warm breeze, I stamped the mini, the star group mini stamp a bunch of times. And I didn't want this to go onto the left side of the card. So I just used a piece of paper to make sure it stayed on the right side of my card. And then I glued my finished background onto the front of this card blank. And you can see that I often use um, practice backgrounds and reuse the other side of the paper so that I uh, don't waste any unnecessary pieces of paper. And the recipient will never know. <laughs> so once that's glued down, you can see the finished card. Perfect for a masculine card and a birthday card just for winter.
Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!